Christianity was a successful local cult brought to Rome by migrants, despite the Roman Empire being primarily polytheistic. It was first noted in Rome in 30 CE, the same year Jesus of Nazareth was crucified. Early Christians were sparse, with 70% being among the poorest members of society. They believed that the poor were Christ in disguise, as Jesus himself was a poor man. The early Christian population was estimated to be around 1,000 before 100 CE, religious history of the early Roman Empire. Rome, a polytheistic nation until the fourth century, had the Roman emperor as head priest and gods crucial to political, economic, and social decision-making. The Roman government faced suspicion and threats from those practicing other religions, particularly monotheistic members who refused to worship the Roman gods due to their significant importance in god approval. They exploited this justification to attack monotheists, most notably Christians, and blame them for any concerns that might have endangered the established power system. Personal property was frequently taken or destroyed, and supporters regarded a threat were sometimes arrested and executed. The Roman Republic led to the Roman Empire, ruled by Caesar Augustus from 31 BCE to 27 BCE, where Jewish people were treated fairly and allowed to practice their religion. The Roman Empire's expansion of the Roman Republic led to the capture of Jerusalem in 63 BCE, transforming many Jewish individuals into Roman citizens. During Augustus's successors, Tiberius, Caligula, and Claudius, the situation drastically changed, with leaders disregarding Jewish synagogues, overlooking harassment, and intentionally provoking Jewish people. Christianity emerged in the early Roman Empire from a small group of followers of Jesus Christ, who was executed in 30 or 33 AD. Despite his death, the spread of his teachings continued. Early Christian converts were few, but the religion flourished due to Jesus' death sentence and resurrection stories. First century Rome Christians, often poor or enslaved, benefited from the teachings of love, fairness, and compassion, which were spread to the people. During Nero's reign from 54 AD to 68 AD, Christians faced arrest, torture, and death, leading to secret worship. Roman emperors blamed Christians for political instability, and they often blamed them for events that threatened their senate and emperor's stability. The Great Fire of Rome, a three-day fire that burned Rome, was blamed by Nero on the rebellious Christian population. The fire killed many Romans and left thousands homeless, with hundreds of Christians arrested and killed. Persecution of Christians in the Roman Empire was sporadic and regionally specific rather than empire-wide. The persecution of Christian martyrs who died did not represent the experiences of most Christians. How did Christianity spread throughout the Roman Empire? Christianity spread throughout the Roman Empire with missionaries like Paul of Tarsus visiting Greece, Turkey, and Italy to preach the faith. Paul, a prominent figure in the Bible's New Testament, aimed to spread the word. During the first and second centuries of the Roman Empire, people worshipped multiple gods simultaneously, with most spreading the monotheistic religion through conversations with neighbors, friends, and family members. Christianity spread through the Roman Empire due to its compatibility with paganism, as many people did not believe that worshipping Jesus Christ meant ceasing to worship other gods like Jupiter, Apollo, and Venus. This belief allowed Christianity to expand beyond the Roman Empire. This didn't change until the middle of the third century, when the emperors Decius, who ruled from 249 to 251 AD, and Valerian, who ruled from 253 to 260 AD, launched campaigns to promote traditional Roman values and customs like sacrificing animals to pagan gods. The Great Persecution was the Roman Empire's most severe persecution of Christians. The Great Persecution was started by the Roman Emperor Diocletian on February 23, 303 AD. It lasted from to 312 AD. After this persecution, in 312, Emperor Constantino became the first Roman Emperor to convert to Christianity. A year later, he helped enact the Edict of Milan the Edict of Milan was a written declaration that permanently established religious toleration for Christianity within the Roman Empire. The Edict was issued in 313 CE by two Roman emperors, Constantine and Licinius. Christianity became the official religion of the Roman Empire ten years later. 
Constantine called for unity in Christian teaching and beliefs. He persecuted those with differing beliefs. Christianity was appealing to the lower classes in the Roman Empire because it promised liberation from afflictions in this world. Christianity also established a community that was equal regardless of social class or gender. Christianity was more popular with low-class people and slaves. The political authorities had to move with the times, and even if they didn't believe, they converted to Christianity. Theodosius I began persecuting pagans in 381, after the first couple of years of his reign as co-emperor in the eastern part of the Roman Empire. Theodosius issued a series of edicts in 391 and 392 AD, abolishing all pagan cults and ceremonies. Theodosius's edicts forbade all forms of pagan worship, including private religious rites. Polytheism declined gradually due to the rise of Christianity.